the arteries today and we are going to do it above the diaphragm and then later on we'll do it below the diaphragm. So above the diaphragm, you can see right here, you can see right here is the heart. And the heart, you can see over here, this is the arch of aorta, right? It has some fascia on it, so it's not that clear, but this is the arch. And then you trace the arch all the way on the back side. And then you can see this going down, right? Mm -hmm. This is your descending aorta, which in the thoracic cavity is going to be thoracic aorta. So here is your diaphragm, right? Which divides abdominal cavity into thoracic cavity. So the aorta in this part is thoracic aorta, right? Mm -hmm. Thoracic aorta, you can see, is giving out branches right here to the wall of the thoracic cavity, right? You can see these? These are your intercostal arteries, right? Then you can also see right here, if you move it a little bit away, aorta, you see this organ? This is the esophagus. So the blood vessels which are coming from aorta to the esophagus, these are your esophageal arteries. Can you see that? Huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we are going to look at the branches coming out of the art of aorta, um, arch of aorta, and those would be just two. So this is your brachiocephalic, okay, right here, brachiocephalic trunk, and it is going to give three branches. You can see the three branches right here, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is brachiocephalic trunk. And this right here, the second branch, is your left subclavian artery. And it is going to go to the left arm. Brachiocephalic trunk, it is going to give three branches. So the first one from left, that is going to be your left common carotid. And you can see it's going to the neck, right? Mm -hmm. Going to the neck. Then there is the right common carotid, which is going to the right side of the neck, right? Mm -hmm. And the third one is going to be your right subclavian. right subclavian, which is going to go inside the arm. right arm, okay? Now, since this side is kind of busted, so we are going to trace the left subclavian. The right and the left subclavian, they are both going to have the same branching, okay? So we are going to look at the, which one? Left the left subclavian. Left subclavian, the first branch is going to be internal memory. But since it's broken right here, so let's look at it on the right side. So on the right side, this is the, what? This is the right subclavian, and you can see the branch. And let's see where the branch is coming out. So you see how it is going on the inner side? Right here, mm -hmm. this is your internal memory. memory. Where is memory memory. gland? memory. That is the breast, so it is going, that is going to be in the chest cavity, so it is coming right here. Do you see that? So this is your internal memory, memory artery. And it is on the outer side. See how it is coming out on the outer side? Mm -hmm. On the outer side. On the inner side, you are going to see three branches. So these are the three branches on the on the inner side of the left subclavian, okay? So the first one is vertebral artery. This one is vertebral, okay? Next one is costo cervical. And the third one is thyrocervical. Do you understand? Okay. Now, vertebral, as you can see, it is going in here. And what is in here? The vertebrae. The vertebrae. Do you understand? So it's going to the vertebrae. So this is your 
vertebral, vertebral. artery. Vertebral. This is costo cervical, the next one. And the third one is your thyrocervical. From thyrocervical all the way through this next branch. This next branch is your where is it going? Where is it going? This branch. It is going into the scapula, right? Do you see that? How it is going into the scapula, this branch? You can see right here how it is going in to the scapula. Can you see that? So that is... Right here, it is going in the scapula. This is your subscapular Subscapular artery. artery. Do you understand? Because this is subscapularis muscle, right? Mm -hmm. So this is subscapular artery supplying the scapula and the subscapularis muscle. Between thyrocervical and subscapularis artery, subscapular artery, this is your axillary artery. So this is the axilla, underarm. Do you understand? So this is your axillary artery. Clear? Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, from the subscapularis branch all the way till it enters the elb elbow and branches into radial and ulnar, this is going to be your brachial. Can you see mm -hmm. this entire? Yeah. This you can see is your brachial from here all the way here. From the place where subscapular branches or comes out from there all the way till where it bifurcates. So you can see over here, you can see the bifurcation right here. Normally it happens in the elbow region, but with different cats it's different, but right now you can see right here, it is branching right here into two. This and this, can you see that? Now if you trace it all the way, then you can see one is going to the pinky, which will be ulnar, and one is going to the thumb side, which will be radial. radial. So this side, the lateral uh, side, sorry, uh, the outer side would be ulnar, the inner side would be radial. radial. Is that clear? Mm -hmm. So these are all the arteries that you need to know above the diaphragm.